Hello again, kids. I know y'all have been waiting for me to have some shit to say about the current political climate in our country. Jesus Christ, guys. Okay, look, I'm just going to cut straight to the fucking point. Okay, here's the thing. Those cops had no fucking business restraining George Floyd like that at all. At all. The technique that they used actually is not even a generally acceptable technique, restraint technique, in law enforcement. It just isn't. Secondly, positional asphyxia is a fucking thing. <laughs> Third, is anybody really fucking surprised that the official state autopsy report was just like, oh, no, he just happened to have a bunch of, uh, you know, previous conditions and oops, <laughs> that was all there before they put it, their knee on his fucking neck. Are you kidding me? Is anybody surprised by this? No, I'm not fucking surprised by this. But here's the other thing. With regards to the rioting and the looting and all that other shit. First of all, is anybody paying attention and noticing that the rioting and the looting, the majority of it, is taking place after the actual protesters have gone home? Did anybody notice that? No? <laughs> Fucking duh. Secondly, everybody with their, this rioting and looting and me, 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 and wanting to whine about it, here, it's not going to solve anything. Really? Really? Really. And then the fact that I support this and I support people protesting and I, I even support a certain amount of rioting and property damage and stuff like that. Yes, I do. And I know that that probably sounds incongruous to my values as a student of law. But here's the thing. I'm not just a student of law. I'm a student of history. And the fact is, is that anybody saying that rioting and looting never solved anything clearly has not paid attention to history. <laughs> you want to tell that to the Russians? How about the Irish? The Italians? Germans? Anybody? The Boston Tea Party? But here's the difference with the Boston Tea Party. The people who committed... The, the destruction and the rioting at the Boston Tea Party were such pussies that they disguised themselves as Native Americans so they wouldn't have to deal with the fucking consequences. Okay? Okay? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? The fact is, is they tried kneeling. You didn't like that. You, you motherfuckers made it about something that I had nothing to do with. They're disrespecting our troops. They're disrespecting the American flag. They're disrespecting the national anthem. Yeah, that's kind of the whole point of that freedom of speech shit. <laughs> whole point. They tried blocking traffic and you all fucking lost a tit. They have literally tried, and I say they because that is their community. And my personal opinion, while I support them and I stand with them, I do. I stand with Black Lives Matters. I stand with people of color. And I stand with them because I'm not a piece of shit. <laughs> Why do you think that if you're white, you automatically have to be opposed to them? That's called racism, you dumbass. That's called racism. And if you're honestly sitting there and you're more worried about the looting and the rioting and the blah, 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 then you are about the shit that fucking caused it. Do you realize that if the cops would just stop fucking killing people of color, that shit like this would stop happening? How about you go to the source of the bullshit instead of just being pissed off at the bullshit? That's like, that's like fucking closing the, uh, what's that saying? Closing the gate after the horse is bolted? Close the fucking gate before the horse bolts. It's not that hard. Why do I have to explain this to you people? And then, my personal favorite is a longtime supporter of mine. 
going onto my Facebook page, calling me a hypocrite, clearly not understanding what that word means. I'm a student of law, but I didn't get into the legal game to only apply the law and only care about the law as it is currently written. I'm in it for justice. And there is a fucking difference. And that, my friend, is very non-hypocritical. So if you're going to come at me and call me a fucking hypocrite without actually thinking about what you're saying, just because you're pissed off that a white woman is supporting people of color fucking standing up for their rights. Like, no, dude, sorry, you're banned from my shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not putting up with it. I'm not. I'm not. The time for trying to gently bring you people around to understanding things and trying to get you to care about somebody other than yourself is fucking gone. And by the way, by the way, you assholes who had no problem with white people storming government buildings while strapped and yet are now having a fucking issue with black people protesting are the biggest hypocrites of all. Oh, well, they were peaceful. They were just standing there holding their guns. Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> there is nothing peaceful about bringing a goddamn AR-15 into a government building during a vote of the legislature. There's nothing peaceful about that. That's called intimidation. And oh, by the way, that's against the law. Intimidation, coercion, all of it. It's against the law. But you didn't have a problem with fucking white people doing it. And now you've got a problem here? You're the fucking hypocrites, motherfuckers. And don't fucking at me at this shit. I don't fucking care. I don't care. I was raised to believe in true equality for everyone. Everyone. And I don't see why this is such a fucking issue. Why is this still a thing? Why is this still, why is this even a thing in the first fucking place? Black people pay taxes just like white people do. Hispanics pay taxes just like white people do. Fucking Asians, everybody fucking pays taxes just like white people do. The only people who do not pay taxes like the rest of us do is the upper 1%. That's it. That's it. That's all of it. We all work we all go to school. We all come home at night. We all cook dinner. We all tuck our kids in. We all go to bed. We all fucking sleep or don't sleep, depending on your stress level. We all do the same thing. And I know it sounds fucking try to shit, but this doesn't fucking matter. For fuck's sake, I'm my own favorite superhero. I'm fake whitey girl. <laughs> I'm not even really white. If we want to go on actual blood percentages, I'm Hispanic. Because my mother is full-blooded Hispanic. My father was the fucking mutt. <laughs> if we want to go on actual percentages, I'm more Spanish than I am anything else. But I look white. And people have a hard time comprehending that because my Spanish comes from Spain. Doesn't come from Mexico. That's called Mexican. I do have a little bit of Mexican blood in me. But the majority of it is Spanish. <laughs> this means nothing. It means nothing. Because all of us bleed red. All of us have a central nervous system. All of us have a brain, theoretically. All of us have two eyes. All of us have two lips. All of us have a nose. All of us have 10 fingers. All of us have 10 toes. The time to worry about people or like sentient beings that are not like us is if they are like purple. And then I'm just going to be like, radioactivity? Your mom feeds you too many fucking eggplants? What happened here? Just curious. You know, 
Because as far as I'm concerned, if you are working and you are taking care of your family and you are doing the same things and you're going through the same shit as everybody else on the fucking planet, that means you are a human being and that's the only thing that fucking matters. That's the only thing that matters. So here's a thought to stop the protesting and the rioting and all of that other shit. How about you start holding your local authorities accountable when they do stupid shit against people of color? How about that? In 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. There were riots across the country. And then the Civil Rights Act was signed into law six days after his death. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, well, that was signed in in 1964. Yes, the original one was signed in in 1964, but the one signed in 1968 added protections. And it only happened after days of fucking rioting. The Russian Revolution. <laughs> and I've been saying for years, we are seeing the same conditions happening as Russia did 100 years ago. Sooner or later, the peasants will always revolt. And if you don't listen to them when they try to speak to you peacefully, when they try to follow your right ways, this is what happens. This is what happens. And this is what happens when you assholes calling me a hypocrite, when you assholes who are talking shit vote in dumbasses or don't vote at all or fucking write in a goddamn dead gorilla because you think it's funny. When you don't bother educating yourself beyond the fucking television, when you haven't read a book since 1973, when you haven't picked up a newspaper in 20 years, this is the shit that happens. You are not the only person who fucking matters. You're not. We are all living on this earth. We are a communal species. It is fact. And because we are communal, everybody matters. And because everybody matters, you need to look beyond your fucking blinders and start giving a shit beyond yourself. For fuck's sake. I'm actually, I'm really pissed off at a lot of y'all's mamas. Because clearly they didn't teach you worth a piss. Fuck. You guys care more about gun rights than you do about human rights. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't care if you own a gun as long as you are a responsible person and you have an IQ above two and more than one tooth. I don't care as long as you're responsible and you're not fucking going out and shooting people. Fine. Fucking own a goddamn gun. But the fact that you care more about your right to own a gun than that guy's right to not be fucking choked to death by four police officers seriously disturbs me and shows me exactly what kind of a piece of shit you really are. You don't care about the law or amendments or the application thereof. You care about you. And that's it. And that is the true mark of a non-evolved human being. So if you think I'm a fucking hypocrite, do me and yourself a favor and unfucking follow me. Unsubscribe down below because from here on out, baby, the gloves are fucking off. And I don't care if you call me a hypocrite. I don't care if you call me dirty names. I never have cared. I don't care because you don't matter to me. Justice matters to me. Speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves or adding my voice to those whose voice is not loud enough. That's what matters to me. Justice for all. For all. There is no asterisk at the bottom of that shit. Oh, except for the people who are not rioting or who are not protesting the way that 
Everybody else thinks they should, except for the people who blah, 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 except for brown people, red people, white people, yellow people. No, there's no fucking asterisk. There's no footnote. There's no goddamn bibliography at the end of this shit. Justice for all. That's it. That's what I care about. So keep your stupid fucking comments to yourself because quite frankly, Cupcake, my comments on my channel are by my approval only. So when you write that stupid shit, click, delete it. Nobody ever fucking sees it. I don't even see it because the second I see your stupidity, I delete it. I don't even bother, bother reading it. So save yourself the fucking trouble. Save me the trouble. Unsubscribe. And grow the fuck up. Jesus Christ. I have homework. Talk to you guys later. I love you.